guys, what is going on? Welcome back. I hope you guys, as always, are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 65,000 subscribers, and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video, and today we're officially on episode 44 of Paranormal America, traveling the 50 states of the United States, heading west to east, and looking at all the creepy stuff that's happened in each state along the way. Which currently brings us to... Rhode Island. But before we get started on that, guys, we have to jump right over to... Say it with me, guys. Paranormal America. to Paranormal America, and today we're talking about the urban legend of Fingernail Freddy. Fingernail Freddy is an urban legend that dates back to the 19th century. Now, although nobody knows how this originated, there is a bunch of different versions out there of what happened. So the story goes there was a man named Freddy, and in some versions of the story, he's actually called Charlie, but in this version, we're going to call him Freddy. Freddy was a farmer who lived with his wife and children in a small little log cabin located in Cumberland, Rhode Island. Freddy was an innocent man who kept himself to himself, growing his own crops and food in his fields. But he was always having problems with kids vandalizing his property, destroying his crops, and letting out his cows. And one day he got so sick of it like everybody would, and got a shotgun and loaded it with rock salt. I personally think it should have been bullets. But yeah guys, he loaded the gun with rock salt, and when the kids returned to cause even more damage to his livelihood, he shot at them causing them to feel a really, really painful burn from the salt. But he thought it was all good and well. He thought the kids were gonna leave him alone. Mm -mm. The kids later returned and decided to get him back for what he had done to them. So they decided to burn down his house while he was out. But his wife and children were home. Freddy saw the blaze and come running, and in an attempt to save his family, he was severely burned, leaving his face badly disfigured but unfortunately he lost his wife and children now i cannot imagine anything worse this guy must be going through hell the strange thing that followed was nobody ever heard from freddy again he become a hermit and lived in the woods which i guess is how he got his really long fingernails later on in life he eventually died but vowed to put a curse on the town so still to this day many people believe that his spirit is still out there lurking and waiting. It is also believed that Freddy Krueger from the movie A Nightmare on Elm Street was actually based off this urban legend. I think it's a pretty creepy urban legend. It's a good old classic legend about a man living in the woods. His spirit comes out and you know that kind of thing. It's a campfire story. But I really gotta say I really feel bad for Freddy and I don't blame him for being mad. Like I would be too. He lost his family and it wasn't even like it was his fault he didn't start it he shot the kids because he was protecting his livelihood his property his cows and his fields and because the, these kids were destroying that and he was trying to protect it he didn't even get a real gun to shoot um real bullets i mean he was shooting rock salt at them which is still very painful but it's not gonna kill them so i think that he gave them more than enough chances to stop and get away from his property but they didn't want to listen and they just took it too far and killed his family and destroyed his one and only life so i gotta say i really feel bad for him and i uh, i hope that he gets the kids back for what they did to him but i really just don't agree with him on taking it out on the whole town but anyway guys my question to all of you for question of the day is do you believe this story is true or not let me know in the comment section that is question of the day magic eight ball is the urban legend fingernail freddy true as i see it yes well, I guess I'm never going to Cumberland, Rhode Island. And also, you guys know I've started this thing called Random Fact of the Day, where I like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that y'all don't have to go to school anymore. And today's Random Fact of the Day is... Did you know that when you blush, the lining of your stomach also turns red? There's your Random Fact of the Day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, slap a like on it. Let's see if we can go for 75 million likes. I would really appreciate that. And remember the most important thing, guys. Chase your dreams. I love you guys.